Welcome back to The Weekend Show. The modern age and its over-dependence on social media has influenced a lot about our culture and norms. Uh, it has set a different tone about an almost impossible standard for social acceptance. Body shaming is someone trying to make you feel bad about having a body that doesn't conform to cultural or just their personal standards. It is the practice of criticizing people publicly for being too fat or being too thin. Body shaming is done worldwide. It can happen to you, me, your neighbor, your friends, or any member of your family. It's, I, I feel that's the new way Nigerians greet you. It's either, oh, <laughs> you're fat. You know, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're fat. Oh. Have you been eating pizza? Exactly. And if you're skinny, they still say the same thing. Um, mm -hmm. And so I, I'm glad we're having this conversation. And to have this conversation with us in the studio, we have someone who I would like to call a radio icon. I've been hearing her voice on the radio for about 10 odd <laughs> years. That's for me. And I think she'll be doing it longer. <laughs> on air personality, Matilda Duncan. Hi. Welcome to the weekend show. I, I'm happy to be here. How are you doing? Fine, thank and you. And it's good to see you. It's kind of weird just sitting here and you're like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we're so happy to have you on here because you have a phenomenal story. Yes. Um, you were previously a size 32 and right. now you're a size... A 22. A 22. You've yes. done an amazing work yes. getting to where you are today. So yes. tell us a bit about your story oh and um, <laughs> your experience, mm -hmm. you know, just going through this journey oh okay so um a first hi <laughs> <laughs> i didn't say hi to you earlier um so it's been a bit of a ride from when i was you know much younger and i literally start i've done everything i've tied my teeth i've you know worked out i've eaten the zero zero one um but i think it was just a bit to stop trying and to just change the lifestyle. Mm. So I thought to myself, stop the sodas. It's not even responsible. You're getting too old for Coke <laughs> and Fanta and Sprite. And mm. you know, so I cut that out first and I thought, you know what, in, as to using this large bowl to eat, why don't I just maintain a smaller bowl? And then I change jobs. So I used to have like this three hour shift in the afternoon and then I would sleep until like maybe noon. But now I wake up at 4 a.m. every morning. So I've been doing that for six months and it's been a bit of a routine. I have to climb a certain amount of stairs to get to my studio. There's like, you know, bam, bam, bam work all the way wow, through. Wow. Then I quit my PAs, I had them go so I could mm. do everything myself. So it's just been a lot more work. And then I thought, wait, hold on, are my clothes getting bigger? <laughs> and everybody would be like, we can see your neck, <laughs> <laughs> you know? So mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of like being like that. It's, it's literally now that people ask me, what did you do? I'd be like, nothing. So it's like literally now I'm starting to do something, like work out more, swim a little bit more, you know, just be a little consistent in, you know, doing what we have to do and eating right and just being alive. Um, so with, because we're talking about body shaming right. and it's, it's very popular here in mm -hmm. Africa and with us Nigerians, living a healthy lifestyle is quite important. Yeah. Um, but the method of delivery when people <laughs> talk to people about this mm -hmm. um, could play a negative role in their growth, in their, um, with even with their mentality and how they right. see themselves. Right. But do you feel that maybe helps people to be a little bit more responsible, responsible. about their health? No, I think you need to take responsibility for every action that you do. Um, Nigerians like everything the fast way, to be honest. Nobody likes to work it all the way to the top. They want to be able to just get to the top and be out there. So first it was the outer skin. A lot of people were doing something about their skin because they wanted to be accepted by society. Not really sure why they needed that. And now it's kind of like going from the inside as well. So you now you see a lot of women saying, I think my boobs are too small. Why can I not get a little bit more? I think I should take out some fat from my thighs and put a hair. But there's a lot of medical implications to all of that. You can't just do it one time and literally not continue to take care of it. And it costs money. I'm thinking, where's everybody getting all this money from? You're doing your body <laughs> for like two million, three million. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how about doing that with something else, with people who can't feed or, you know, go to school? Oh, would you blame society mm -hmm. for the The pressure? Need? Yes. Yes. For the pressure to have to do that to mm -hmm. yourselves because you see celebrities mm -hmm. doing it now. Yes. Uh, the latest person was Toke Makinwa, right. a very popular media personality. Mm -hmm and she got her butt done right. and uh, she came out to say yeah she did it right. and you know she's happy with mm -hmm. her body and other women should do what it is that mm -hmm. makes them feel happy mm -hmm. so would you blame society and celebrities who yes. are openly doing this right. um would you attribute them as the cause mm -hmm. for you know this advent of 
you know, yeah. body shaming and having to fix, mm -hmm. having to look perfect, right. having to fix everything that's, yes. you know, wrong with you. I think we all just want everything in life to be perfect, to be honest. Because I'm thinking a celebrity has such a perfect life in, in, in the real sense, is what we see. But deep down inside, they're probably not as perfect, you know what I mean? So what can they do to just keep it going? So I wouldn't say the society is putting the pressure on them. But in their mentality, maybe they want to be like, I've not had enough. It's like getting tattoos. I don't know if you know what I mean. You start here, you want to do another one, and then another one. You know, it just only gets better. So Toka is in a space where her body is like looking hard right now. She just might say, you know what? Maybe I should change my eyes to blue. <laughs> <laughs> and if she could get it done. And someone did that actually. Tiny. Really? Oh, um, no. Tia and Tiny. Are uh, you serious? Yeah. She changed her eye color, black lady. There she you changed go. her eye color from black <laughs> to blue. Right. Because right. So my point yeah. is, why do you need to have acceptance from <coughs> the other man, from the world? Because whether you do it or not, they would still kind of call you out. Mm. So, you know, and I feel like personally, you should just be as confident and as beautiful from the inside out. Just carry yourself well. Enjoy the way you look. Look at yourself and be like, that's hot. Mm. Regardless if anybody else says, you know, what, maybe you need to take that belly in and all that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I, I also think um, technology plays a major role mm -hmm. in giving people the right to be extremely intrusive. Right. And so everyone has those little challenges. I was yeah. watching an interview with <laughs> Sansa Stack of Game of Thrones, oh. and she said for the past um, about five years she's been depressed right. and even wow. contemplated suicide because mm -hmm. most times people come to her page and write stuff like, you're fat. Mm -hmm. And then you look at her, you're like, what are they talking mm -hmm. about? Mm -hmm. But this also has a role. It leads it to does. depression. Absolutely. However, and even slim people, you've seen models getting an anorexic, mm -hmm. eating food and trying to throw up, throw up to right. um, let it out. So mm -hmm. do you, what do you feel the mm -hmm. role of technology in body shaming mm -hmm. has been so far? Well, coming from where you're coming from with comments and things that people would say about your body on social media, um, it has a lot. It's, it's in your mental psychic. They say things to you and you wonder, is this true? But I've, I've always had this really thick skin, I mean, obviously, <laughs> to what people say, because I feel like people on social media are faceless. Yeah. I might just be worried about what a driver in Oweri has said to me, because his name is Jonathan May on social media, and he has a few people following, and his comments are sickening. They're so depressing. I had to stand up for a friend of mine, Tana, who's in the movie industry, and she put the 10 year challenge. And I remember, you know, somebody had called her out saying, oh, just look at your body. Everything is slopping right now. And she had to come back to say, look, this body has carried three children. Da -da 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 -da. You know what? I wonder what your mom will be like. You know, and I'm like, do we always have to kind of listen and reply? It's, go it's going to get worse. That's the truth. Because whatever you put up, people are still going to go, your hair could have been better. Oh, your nails are not that long. Oh, you know, why don't you? Or oh, why shouldn't you? It could be better if. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to pay attention to that. And if people could take that from me, everybody would just be fine, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, and I think that's a very valid point because mm -hmm. a lot of young people watching today are wondering how do we deal with cyberbullying, especially right. when it comes to the way we look. Right. Um, I personally have mm -hmm. never really, you know, struggled. <laughs> I've always been overconfident. Right. So I mean, right. like, I'm right. the type of person I look at myself and we're like, damn, girl, yes. you're beautiful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. You know, so like I already know it before anyone mm -hmm. has to tell me. Right. So if you're just, if you're telling me, mm -hmm. you're reiterating what I already know. Absolutely. So how do we, you know, speak to young girls and mm -hmm. boys out there who mm -hmm. have been told, like Andy was telling us off camera when he was mm -hmm. younger, they were telling him, you're, you're too skinny. Right. Now he's older. They're telling him, oh, right. you're too buff. Right. <laughs> you know, so you how do we speak her. to, you can't please mm -hmm. everyone. So how do we speak to the young boys, young girls out there, even right. people our age who are <laughs> struggling right. with um, owning their own skin? How right. do we, what do we tell them? Right. You know, aside us telling them that we're so confident mm -hmm. now, but yeah. how, how do we get to that point where, right. you know, um, we can tell them, I don't care about your opinion of right. me. I am who right. I am and I love who I am mm -hmm. and I love the skin I'm in. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple, just do it. You can't have anybody influence you to say, oh, please, don't say this or say that. Mm -hmm. just, take, just take the stand and say, you know what, I'm done. I don't care what anybody thinks or says about me right now. If you don't feel healthy, do something about it. If personally you don't feel comfortable you know, doing certain things, then you want to get up and just do something about it. Stop paying attention to 
who says what and why they say it. It's not important. He's a mere model just like you. So why bother about what one person's emotion has to do with your happiness? Mm -hmm. You need to just up and stop. And I'll say ignore. You need to start ignoring certain things. You know what, even if it's a good comment, ignore it, mm -hmm. <laughs> to be honest. So your head doesn't go like, you know, it tells you you can still do more. Because when you're out there saying, yeah, I know I'm the best of the best, you would stay in one spot and mm. you need to grow, which is constant. So start ignoring people saying things. It's easier said than done. I'm the kind of person that if you say anything wrong on my page, as much as put up an ad on my page on Instagram, I'm literally just going to your page and blocking you out. It's not that serious, to mm. be honest. Where was everybody before social media? You know what I mean? Yeah. We, we did everything right by our own way. So stop, s just stop. Ignore. ignore. Just mm. ignore. Maturely ignore. Yeah. If you must say comment, just thumbs up, whatever. Keep moving. Whatever makes anybody happy. You can say whatever, it's fine. Mm. You know, but I'm still gonna do me. And we need to start by doing that. Yeah, I, I, I actually think it's about like they like I, I read recently creating mm -hmm. your own lanes yeah knowing who you are Absolutely. accepting yourself yes. for who you are and yes. when you've accepted your own truth mm -hmm. you now realize if it's an unhealthy lifestyle mm -hmm. you don't necessarily need to be told right. for you to get this uh, to get um, healthy to mm -hmm. start eating right to start exercising right. and you spoke a lot um, about discipline mm -hmm. and also it's quite important that we do have medical professionals Absolutely. we do have nutritionists who can exactly. tell us this so yes. why do you have to wait for mm -hmm. um, for random people who right. are anonymous behind right. accounts, and you may never to see call them. You out, right. Exactly, and they may even be way bigger or way smaller than True. you are while they say stuff. And True. so we understand the health benefits of mm -hmm. it and how important it is. But you've been able to go through a journey. Can you tell us about some tips? What did you do to, mm -hmm. and what are you constantly doing to? Mm -hmm. Um, and show you have the body you want. Okay, so um, I said when I was bigger, I, I, I still kind of came out a bit bold. I didn't ever think I was too big or whatever. As a matter of fact, I used to walk into a place, I would look into your eyes like, you see me? Because I see you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and then, of course, it's been more expensive losing weight because you now have to change your whole wardrobe. Mm. You know, everything had to go. I used to wear like a size 13 uh, wide shoes now mm. I wear a regular because all the wides are big now you know what I mean um, so I'm thinking do I want to stay like this or just go back and keep my clothes <laughs> of course not <laughs> um, but like I did say earlier I've just kind of gotten a little more responsible as I'm getting older um, I've cut out all the sodas you know all the fizzy drinks um, I tried I to that for one year <laughs> <laughs> did it work? Did it you work? Know what? I, at the end of it, I felt it didn't work. Yes. However, when I went back to soda, I found that I didn't need it anymore. Right. I, didn't, I didn't like it. Right. Yeah, right. So yeah. it's, it's about that discipline. Exactly. It's just, you just discipline yourself. Alcohol as well. Wow. You know, when I was growing <laughs> up, yeah. You know, much younger, we did go out, you know, in the media. We'd hang with yeah. a few friends and kind of go a little overboard. So right now, if I must, maybe a glass of red wine, you know, don't overdo it, because yeah. that also adds to you. Um, I would promise you and say that eating late is the killer. That's my biggest problem. Whoa. <laughs> you know, we have, our lifestyles are just, we have to be here, work. Exactly, you, you work know, late. Bef yes, before you get home, it's like 11 o'clock and you're famished, and then what can you do? So you need to create time at some point of your life during the day to say, you know what, let me just chew so Even I don't have to eat later. An alarm. Exactly. And eating right, you know. I would say if you want to eat heavy, just eat before 6, 7 o'clock. Mm. Give it a couple of hours before you lay to bed because <laughs> it would just all go into the wrong places, you know. Um, and then, hey, exercise. I can't say more. 12 minutes minimum every day as long as you're doing it every day. So it could be on your bed, sit-ups push-ups long walks long walks so I'm doing this long walk thing I do now every every Saturday morning so at 6 30 it's just for about an hour so the idea is to have as many people as possible we can just not power walk just walk and you would be surprised before you say Jack you're like wait hold up you need to kind of like talk this in <laughs> you know but How you have to you be consistent one hour one hour Yes. I mean it shouldn't be too much you can't overdo mm. things you know what I mean and then try and sleep because your body needs to just rejuvenate. People think if we don't sleep enough and we're more active, mm. you know what I mean? It, it, w it would all go, but you need to relax. Your body always needs to kind of repair itself while you do all that walking and mm. yes, absolutely. I love that. Mm -hmm. So just to round up, um, 
Was there a specific incident, mm -hmm. a specific body shaming incident that you remember mm -hmm. that sort of changed the way that you looked at yourself? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Too no. confident for that. No, <laughs> <laughs> no not at all. Mm. Not at all. Mm. Not at all. I've never, I've always just wondered why people do this. Mm. You know, I'm like, you look beautiful. Why? Why? Why change your nose? Mm. And my mom says to me, if you do anything to your body, your husband just might pass you by because mm. <laughs> you're supposed to be in a certain kind of way, yeah. you know. But just be responsible for who you are and how you look. We could do that. You know, it's not that hard. Mm. You know what I mean? I love yeah. that. Be responsible for who you are and how you look. Mm -hmm. That's a fine place to leave it. Thank you so much. Thank for you more. There. Thank you We'll more. take a short break right now. When we return, more on the weekend show. Don't go anywhere.